Welcome to the task, Create a Meeting Workspace with Outlook. In order to accomplish this task, I will start Microsoft Outlook, and from within Outlook, I will select File, and then New, then Appointment. And for this particular part of the task, I'll go ahead and set the normal appointment parameters just like I would for any other appointment. Now oh, it's good. Start time. And an end time. Okay, now we're ready to send out our meeting request. We'll click the office jewel. Create a meeting request to be associated with this appointment. Now we'll go ahead and add in our recipients or attendees. Type in a subject. Start time and end time once again. And in the attendees ribbon, we'll select the meeting workspace, which will allow us to set up a SharePoint meeting workspace that's associated with this appointment. In the meeting workspace pane, we'll click the change settings link to change the settings that uh, Outlook figured out for us as a default. In this particular case, we do want the defaults, but let's go ahead and look at the different options that we have for, for the settings. Our action group site, as a parent site for our meeting workspace, has already been linked out to, so that is an option in our dropdown here. We can also select other and type in any URL that we want. We can select a language for the template and then select from any of the installed meeting workspace templates that we have on our SharePoint server. We'll go ahead and leave the basic meeting workspace there. So we're going to go ahead and actually accept all the defaults. Click the OK button, which will take us back to the same meeting workspace pane that we had before. And now we can go ahead and click the Create button. And you see that Outlook is now communicating with SharePoint to create the meeting workspace underneath the Action Group SharePoint site as we select it. And once that, once that is finished, you see now we have a link directly out to that meeting workspace in our meeting request. So we're ready to go ahead and send that now, so we'll click the Send button. And those two recipients that we selected are going to get an email notifying them not only of the meeting, but also of a direct, they'll get a direct link to the meeting workspace out on the SharePoint server. And we can go ahead and click the Save and Close button, which will save the appointment into the calendar. This concludes the task create a meaning workspace with Outlook.